All right, welcome back everyone. So now that you have your wallet synchronized and that you see your funds, now it's time for a little bit of security. So first of all, I'll show you how to encrypt your wallet. And then I will show you how to back up your newly encrypted wallet. All right, so let's start with the encryption. So as you go, all you have to do is go in settings and then wallet security and then encrypt wallet. And then you enter your passphrase. Um, so 10 or more random characters or eight or more words, or it's all up to you. You can make it as strong or as weak as you want, but the strongest, the better. So um, this is a dummy wallet for me. So I'll just do a dummy passphrase, just enter one, two, three. All right, warning, if you, if you encrypt a wallet and lose your password, you will lose all your coin. So make sure to remember your passphrase. So uh, press on yes, and then you have to wait a few seconds so that the wallet uh, encrypts itself. Um, the fact that it goes unresponsive is very normal. It's just uh, the wallet working on the encryption. All right, and now, I uh, it says that the wallet uh, is encrypted and um, that you should delete all the previous backups because now that you have a secured uh, backup, you should use only a secured backup and not the uh, non-encrypted backup. And also, it uh, it's not because you encrypt your wallet that is uh, safe from malware and other type of viruses. All right, now you have to open your wallet again. All right, XP wallet. All right, now that your wallet is open again, you can see here bottom right that there's a lock and it says encrypted and currently locked. So to unlock your wallet, you have to go back to settings and at wallet security again, and then you have unlock wallet and unlock wallet for mining. I personally recommend to use unlock wallet for mining because if you do um, unlock wallet, then everyone that passes by have access to your wallet without any form of authentication. Compared to if you do unlock wallet for mining, then the only thing your wallet will be able to do is mine coins. Whenever you want to do a transaction, then you will have to enter your passphrase again as a form of authentication which also increases the security of the wallet itself since you have to specifically say, I am the one that sends the coins and not just a random person that passes by and sends the coin to himself. As opposed to unlock wallet where I could walk by, see your wallet unlocked and say, oh, well, there's 500,000 coins here. I'll, let's just send them all to myself. All right, so now that you have your wallet encrypted, uh, you want to make a backup of it. So to make a backup, you have to go in File, and then Backup Wallet. So from here, you can call it whatever you want, but calling it wallet.dat or xpwallet.dat or whatever wallet.dat is not a good practice to do. So what you could do is call it little flower growing dot txt and and then you will have a uh, little flower growing .txt file, and then when you open it, all you see is weird characters and all. So yeah, so that should be a good way to encrypt it. Personally, that's what I would do, and that's what I do actually. So yeah, you can encrypt it that way, um, and then. Once you have your wallet backup here, uh, what I recommend to do is get 7-zip if you do, don't already have it, and then add it to archive. 
The reason why I recommend 7-zip is because of the encryption uh, feature right here. So I will use 456 uh, since should have the same path rate for both your encryption wallet and your uh, zip file encryption. All right, so now I'll just press OK. And now we have a little flower growing that zip file. And now we can delete the little flower that txt file. All right, so uh, from here, now that you have a backup, you will want to put it on a USB stick or on an external hard drive or somewhere that is not on the internet like you don't want to put it on a Google Drive or Dropbox or Mega or whatever other storage uh, s website there is. Now we'll show you how to retrieve your coins if somehow your computer crashes, there's uh, the hard the hard drive breaks, um, there's corruption somewhere, or whatever the case might be. All right. So first of all, uh, close. I will close the wallet and don't follow those steps. You can watch, but don't do what I'm doing right now. It's, I mean, you have to do it one day, but we'll hope you don't have to do it. All right, so I will close my wallet and then I will open the main folder uh, of XP. So open your window, all right, app data, app data, XP, all right. So I will delete the wallet at that file to simulate a destroyed wallet. And if I start the wallet again, then you will see that I don't have the 5,000 coins that I had earlier. All right, now that the wallet is open again, you can see that I don't have the 500,000 coins I had earlier. So to recover those coins, it's pretty simple. You will want to close your wallet, go back to your main folder, which is an app data backslash XP or user app data roaming XP. And then you will want to delete the current wallet at that file. Then go to your backup, uh, to your backup file, extract all, extract, into the passphrase, the password of your encrypted zip file. Uh, wait, it was four, five, six. And then you will want to rename the file to wallet that that wallet that that. You want to do yes. It's just a warning. If you change the extension, then you might have. Um, compatibility issue opening the content of the file. All right, and now that you have the old wallet at that file right here, you can open the wallet again. And then once the wallet has opened, you will see the 500,000 coins I had earlier in the wallet. All right, now that the wallet is open again, you can see the 500,000 coins I had earlier that I still have actually. And you see that the wallet is currently uh, encrypted and locked. And then all you gotta do to start staking is unlock wallet for mining, one, two, three. Well, enter your passphrase, which shouldn't be one, two, three, but you know what I mean. And then that's it. All you have to do is wait for uh, the wallet to sync the few blocks we missed meanwhile and uh, wait for the coins to mature which should take 24 hours after sending the coins to, you, to the address before uh, starting mining. So that's pretty much it. I will see you with another tutorial about XP uh, tomorrow.